In most programming languages, there's a difference between a collection of objects and an array of values. In PowerShell, a lot of those differences are, are pretty abstracted, so you can kind of use the term collection and array or just a bunch of things all interchangeably. Getting a bunch of things into a variable or an array is as simple as saying something like, well, let's come up with a name, services equals get service. Once all those objects are in there, I can take a look at the contents and they'll be displayed exactly as if I had run the commandlet. Of course, these aren't being updated in real time. If I were to stop or start some services now, those changes wouldn't be reflected to the objects that are already in services. By using square brackets and an index, I can access the first item or the second item. And by using a period, which tells PowerShell I don't want to get the whole object now, I just want to get a member, I can access individual properties or even methods. Uh, negative numbers will start from the end of the list, so that's the last one, and that's the next to the last one. And this entire group can still be passed off or piped to other objects that are designed to work with bunches of, or other command lists that are designed to work with bunches of objects. For example, I could say sort on status, format table, group by status, and I'll get the same results as if I had actually put get service in this first position, only I'll be using the services that are sort of snapshot stored inside that variable. Now another way to create a simpler array is just to use a comma separated list. PowerShell treats any comma separated list as an array and as you can see there it displays each array item on a separate line. Uh, there's a more formal way of doing that which is to say use the array operator or an at sign and then in parentheses tell it that the array is but the at sign and the parentheses are technically optional because PowerShell will treat any comma separated list as an array. Once they're in there, you can use the same syntax to get to individual items, uh, do whatever you need with them.